Hello, everybody. Um, hope that you are well. First of all, I hope that you can hear me, number one, because there's a, a hearing problem sometimes. Uh, got some stuff that's on my mind I want to talk about. Um, number one, I want to say thank you guys for tuning into the show. Last night, all this week, last week, every show... Oh, my name is Larry D. Reed, and I'm the host of Larry Reed Live that comes on every Monday at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but I pop up, pop up many, many, many different times during the week to have the Commodore Station Absoderm Lutin. Um, and if you want to know when we're on, make sure you text Larry Reed Live with no spaces to 33222. This is not the show, I'm in my car. And I just want to talk to you because I got some stuff that's on my mind. Um, and I'm just coming from the post office box. And I want to say thank you for to Marsha Trailer, Sally D. Green. Also, um, Dr. Hoskins. I'm probably going to talk to you guys about that. Thank you for that package you sent. All the vitamins, D3, Omega-3, and all of that. Um, Ina Crawley. Sandra Perkins, Pauline Zeller, um, also Pauline Zeller. I saw you twice. You sent two different things. Thank you so much, Pauline. Rachel Powell, um, Sally Green, Annette F. Foster, um, V. Tillman, Vanessa. I think that's your name. No, no, Vanessa. Is one I don't have the package where the last name is on it. And then there was another V. Tillman. I don't think that was Vanessa. That's two different people. V. Tillman. Okay, so I want to say thank you guys for loading up the P.O. box with all the different things that you guys have sent. If you ever want to send something more, a donation to the NBN Network um, that is responsible for Larry Live, you can do that P.O. box 244-224. Look at there. That's Lisa. <laughs> She don't realize it's me. <laughs> ah, Lord. Okay. That's Lisa. <laughs> She's going that way to the house. I, I could have went that way. But anyway. Um, and that's something we could come two whole different parts of the city and end up right beside each other. Um, so thank you guys for sending that. If you want to send some P.O. Box 244-224. That is Atlanta, Georgia, 30324. All right. So, all right, that's all out of the way. Um, God, it's, I was in the shower, and I just began to think about how... Man, I'm, I'm going to try to say this without um, getting like emotional, because the only time I really get emotional is when it comes to Jesus now. And I was thinking... I'm like, God, I, I couldn't have, I couldn't have thought none of this up. I mean, how God is like really shifted me. For those of you that maybe, maybe you don't know, before I started doing the entertainment show and, and really using my lure, which is comedy, to have conversations that were hard and needed to be have, um, needed to be had. I was pastoring for 20 years. I mean, I've, I've been funny my whole life. I mean, there's some clips of me online of me telling some stories in the pulpit and I am full blast Larry Live. I'm talking about many years ago. Um, I am me but I know my lure is comedy and I'm, I always knew it but I knew it for the first time if there's such a thing but I think you get what I'm saying when I started messing with social cam and periscope, I said, you know, this is this is funny. Although I'm talking, you know, about what's happening in our world and about many times the Bible and God and um but I got into this full blast in 2015. And although I was saying that prior, really I began to walk in 2015 in this whole idea of going beyond the four walls of the church and I was telling pastors doing blogs and lives saying um, 
God keeps telling me that we need to come outside of the four walls of the church. I said, I really get into cyber church. And I had no idea that it would happen like this. I actually thought that I'm going to go online. I'm going to start talking about cyber churches. You know, eventually people are going to realize, you know, I never thought about that. Let me start expanding my four wall experience to this to cyberspace. And, and really 2016, I really started hitting it strong. In fact, the first shows of LRL were all about and I was using this term graduating the four walls, the four wall of the church experience and talk about what do you do when your learning is now going beyond the four walls. Now, if you are LRL or for real and you've been following me online for years, you know I ain't lying. And that's the truth. And we've done that. And then we got into the political conversation. And right around that time, I think Trump was going to get, it was time for the um, election. And this battery going out. It was time for the election. And what ended up happening, it was like the first of 2016, I had this dream. It says low network connection, but it said it's recording. So I don't know what y'all are able to see. I had this dream. And in this dream, I saw the future. I saw the hacking that, and according to my dream, that Russia somehow was connected to it. I also saw, um, I really need him for him to get out. Frozen, but it's recording. Um, so I had this this drip this dream and this vision. It's actually on Kendall's YouTube still, and it was all about um, the election. And that's when I revealed that I knew Trump was going to be the president and all of that stuff. And and then now he's the president, and how now? It's just amazing how everything is just just lining up. And how I really had my finger on the heartbeat of what was going to be happening in the future. So, it's really interesting to me to see so many pastors, this very same pastors that were telling me that I was not following God's voice and I was doing something strange. The same pastors that were saying that I was um, on some other bull and you online and doing what you're doing. You're doing the online because, you know, your church must not been that successful. Your churches weren't that great and that wonderful. And that wasn't the case. I was really following what God was telling me to do. I was really following what God was, was telling me to do and where the future was really, really going. Y'all look at Lisa and her dog. She carried this doll. Ugh. She handled this doll just like it's a. You see, it in her arm. She handled this doll like it is a whole entire human, and it ain't. I don't really care for her doll. I like my doll, but I don't really care for her doll. But anyway. No, my dog was in my was in my car. That's her her dog. Her dog. I don't like her dog. I don't like her dog. All right. Someone said you buff buffering like you got an android. No, I don't know what happened. I don't know because I was going in the woods or whatever. So I don't know what y'all heard. You had to tell me what you heard. So I was telling everybody to get, you know, do this this internet thing. And now everybody's forced to the internet. And then I remember right before, in February when I first heard about COVID-19, I had a feeling that this was going to become a pandemic. I had a feeling that this is going that we're going to end up needing to wear masks. I felt it was airborne. And this is before we even heard it on CNN and the other stations that were saying whatever they were saying. And it's just so amazing to me. It's just so amazing to me how it's saying low network connection. What is going on? And what what is going on with this thing? I'm gonna turn my Wi-Fi off.
Okay. I just turned my Wi-Fi off, so maybe that that fix everything. So, um, did y'all see this child with this dog? Now she don't want that. To... I flipped it too late. I want you to see how she was doing this dog, cause I this dog is not one of our children. It's just, it's just not. Okay, anyway. The dog ain't no precious gift. Somebody thought the dog is a precious gift. Um, <clears throat> Not hers. Mine is. It's not not hers. I can't even have no conversation for all of what's going on. Uh -huh. Did I see you? I was me blowing the horn at you. Oh, it was? And I'm coming away from the other side of town. So this is crazy. I pulled up right beside Lisa. I was dead. Hold on for a minute. Have you been sprayed off? Yeah. With the alcohol? Yes. Oh, okay. I just turned it off. I just turned. I had a Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm so sorry that I messed up. So Facebook, you watching me live, but you YouTube is, is watching me on the premiere because I'm gonna upload this over there. So they're not gonna have all these problems y'all had. Okay. Hi guys. My oldest daughter. Oh, hold on. Hi everyone. It's baby mama. All right, let me finish this. I was I was sort of serious, and y'all done cut me up. Okay. What, what? They were crowded? Yes. No, you can't go now. They're they crowded. Running over. There's, there's one um, mm, right by where we used to stay. And yeah, because, and they turned the air conditioning off. So they, I'm had to taste a lot lippy. He just told me. Let me move the car. Stand right over there. Stand right there in front of the car, um, Bailey. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Spray again. I ain't sure. That one. You spray you again? Your house? Your I sure do. Hold on, just for a minute. Let me. <laughs> you stay right there. Because we got to live a long time, huh? Because it just seemed like. Did you do your hands? You didn't. Because your hands ain't dry. She ain't get out. Did she grab bags that came from inside the store? I, just, yeah. I sprayed it. We just went and got our food. You about to leave for a while? That's uh, -uh no, I'm done. Are you coming in? Yeah. Oh, you you about to leave? Oh, it's fine. That's spray. I go to my room. Y'all eat that. I'm gonna get me some wings. <clears throat> go on. This is a serious conversation. You got to be high. The Holy Ghost to have this conversation. Get on over there. What? Yes, you need to go get them. Okay. All right. I don't want to do no darn s'mores. Come on, they want to do s'mores tomorrow. Okay, let me get back to the conversation. So, that, what I'm saying is how God sort of just led me to do thing after thing, and I was ahead of of what everybody was was doing. But I really, but I really want to head from a throne room view. I was really on the heartbeat of God and, and following what he was telling me to do and anybody who was listening to me was really leading them into the future, but from the future. So man, it's like I was in the shower, I was thinking, I said, like, God, this is, this is so amazing and how now church gatherings are really challenged. And I don't think it's a bad challenge. If we didn't have COVID-19 to come into our world, I don't think a lot of these pastors would have ever considered a different way of ministering. I don't think a lot of pastors and churches and members would have never considered. Because I was telling them when I was talking about going beyond the four walls of the church, doing cyber church. No, you can't forsake the self, your, the assembly yourselves together. I said, online, we, we are assembling. When we are online, we are assembling. It's a different type of assembly. So you mean to tell me we only can go to the four walls of the church? I'm talking to a preacher today that said that he didn't agree with that. And he didn't think. No, because Bishop Jordan was saying the brick and order is out of I mean the brick the brick and mortar is out of order. And he was like, you know, did he say God say that or did he feel like that's just what he see or what have you? I said, he's saying what God has given to him. I said, and of course, which he said was gonna happen. I said, of course, I believe that God was saying since since 16, 15. You know, so it's just really amazing to me how and, and really to watch. People still, after three months and four died, the culture church lost 159,000 people to the COVID-19 
because of a funeral and a and a workers meeting, I think it was. And some of these other churches have experienced the same thing. So it's really interesting to me that even now people are struggling to pivot. Continue to preach, continue to gather, continue to assemble, but do it a different way. And it's very interesting to me. Very interesting to me. I don't know why this thing is, is freezing. I have no idea. I mean, because I'm, I don't know why it's freezing. This is the, this the devil. It must just be him. Okay, so it's the church gatherings. Mask. This thing with the mask. I, 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 I don't understand for the life of me why these folk don't want to wear a mask. Listen to me. Wear your darn mask. And I'm going to say this too. Everybody that's having people come to the church, I think is extremely important. Oh, they won't let me talk. They keep coming to the God. What is it? Your message is getting muffled because it keeps freezing. What you mean? They can't make out what I, you're I turned off the Wi-Fi. I know, but it's still, it's still doing it. It's like it's working now. The whole time I was upstairs, it was freezing. It would pause. Okay, let me run, roll down the window. Maybe that'll help the signal. I don't know. Okay, okay wait a minute. Wear your darn mask. And if you're going to have church services, pastors, I also think that you should have a stack of masks, a stack of them, a stack of them, a stack of them, a stack of masks right there at the door with the hand sanitizer to get you the alcohol and put in spray bottles and spray because the alcohol break down the, the virus, the very structure of the virus. It breaks it down at the cellular level, the molecular level in 30 seconds. So thank God for the Clorox wipes and all the other stuff, but the alcohol, isopropyl 70% or more is our friend. And wear your mask inside the darn church. And to everybody that's out there that do not want to wear, wear the mask, then don't wear the mask when you're at your house. Don't wear the mask when you ain't around nobody. But when you're around somebody, you're in public places and you're out there around somebody, wear your darn mask. So you don't have to wear your mask if you don't want to. If you don't want to wear your mask, you don't have to wear your mask when you're around um, nobody. Don't wear it. If you don't want to wear your mask, you don't have to. When you're not around nobody, don't wear that mask. Don't wear your mask when you're at your house. But when you go out, wear your darn mask. Does that sound better? Maybe that's better for y'all to accept. A stack of masks at that door at that church. All right, that's that. The post I made concerning Jensen Franklin, and this was what Jensen Franklin said. Jensen Franklin said, and he posted, it was a little bit of a rant. He posted about how California was saying that inside of churches that you cannot wear that you cannot sing because it spreads the COVID-19. And he said, basically was saying that the left, the Democrats are trying to control the churches and Christianity and encumbering upon our faith and our faith practices. So he was admonishing everybody to vote right or vote Republican. Now, he did not say those exact words, but he said, vote your faith. To me, and in my interpretation, he was saying, vote Republican. It just brings a little pause to me and a little bit of, wait a minute, now, as a preacher, as a pastor, we really should just be preaching the Bible about faith and, and spiritual build, building people. Um, oh, really, we can really preach about anything, but when it comes to people's voting, 
which is a right that they have as American citizens, we should stay up out of that. Shouldn't we stay up out of that? We ain't got no business trying to tell nobody from our pulpit how to vote. This is my platform, and I don't tell you guys how to vote. In fact, I'm not Democrat, and I'm not Republican. I ain't am one of them. I'm in the darn pendant. I'm in the darn pendant. And I look at policy. I don't look at. I don't look at partisan. I look at principle. The people, who who what what principles the person or policy to them. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the part. And I, you know, but I guess if you are the kind of person that's that's already biased and bigoted and and you hold to traditions that that may serve you but harm somebody else i think it's real easy for you to say we we need to vote republican or we need to vote democratic i don't think you should tell people that this is my platform and 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 i i know better than to use this platform to try to tell somebody how to vote and i just think that he should not have made that post i don't think that was proper what y'all think about that I don't think that was a bit more proper than a man in the moon. I don't think that was proper. They should not have done it. So let that be. So that's I talk about the mass. I talk about the future church gatherings, which I think is going to turn really become more and more digital. Um, I talked about the mask. I said you don't have to wear your mask if you don't want to when you ain't around nobody. Um, what's the thing I said? Voting, talking about that. He helped stay up out of that. Oh, the next thing I want to talk about. Let me see. I got to look at my other phone because in my title. Y'all tell me what my title is. Because <laughs> I don't forgot. Lisa and them came over here to the car and stuff. And I and I love Jensen. I used to watch. I bought a series that he had on fasting. Paid hard, good money. I don't think it was right for him to do that. I don't think it's proper. All right, so let me see the next thing I got in this title. Uh, I'm almost going to be doing this for a little piece of minute. Oh, I, I think money is in my t my title because this came this came to my mind. Okay, you you know that he says something about the coin. The U.S. Mint was saying that they weren't going to make up no more coin. And they were telling the banks to, I forgot what exactly they were telling the banks, but it's almost like they're trying to move away from coins in America. Now, America's Black Prophet had told us that we're going to get introduced to digital currency. And I think this is step number one. And with the COVID and everything that is happening, if they're going to stop making coins, then that probably we're going to see the actual $1 bill the $5 bill and probably the $10 bill go away. Inflation probably going to hit and all prices going to change. That whole 99 cent thing, go get it for just $5, get it for, I think all that's going to go away. And we're going to end up seeing that on the certain bills are going to be available, which are going to change the prices, which is really going to cause it in inflation. So this is what I'm going to say to y'all here. Yeah. And this came my mind was in shower. Just like it did when it came to my mind about this becoming a pandemic before everybody else said it and about the mask and it being airborne before everybody else said it. I do believe, I do believe, I do believe that of course we're going to see coins going away from you. So go ahead and take your coins right now because they're going to be worth nothing in just a little bit. Take your coins, trade all your coins in and get paper money. Get twenty dollar bills and up, and you put that you put that to the side. Listen to how because I I used to do that. I used to always save coins in my drawer. I mean, anytime I have extra change left over, I throw it in a jar. Then I cash it in after a certain time. So yeah, coin shortage is what they say they got. So I I think we pro and but they ain't printing them no more up. They ain't putting no more up, is they? So if you're gonna save something, I say save some of that paper money. This is, I mean, this, this, I am no financial money, nothing. 
but this this is just me thinking. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Another thing is this here. Now, if you're a Patreon, probably about three months ago, I told you guys that if you black, but this is to everybody right now. If you black, go buy you some guns, get your permit, and get you some bullets. Now, if you're in Patreon, you, you know what I made that post months ago. And I want to say that here on the public platform because I don't think I said it. This is to everybody, not just black people. You need to go and get you a whole lot of bullets. A whole lot of bullets. It isn't an excuse. It is just a vehicle to usher in prophecy. Why do people seem surprised? We can't stop prophecy from being fulfilled. Exactly, Tish Hicks. You're talking back to somebody, but you're talking right. Of course we're moving towards becoming a cashless society at some point in time, but it ain't, it ain't right now. Get you some bullets. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and ready, and ready to clip a happen and shoot somebody down. But you best have you some bullets. Because this is what I think. With all of this racial and other types of unrest, I think we're going to see some crazy folks start popping up. You ever seen The Purge? And I'm not no conspiracy theorist person. But this stuff ain't hitting my head just because it just hit my head. I do believe that we're going to start seeing some crazy, some crazy stuff popping off. And you just need to protect your darn, be able to protect your darn self outside of the blood of Jesus. And, and you know how we put anointing oil and stuff. You need to go get you a gun. Go get you a gun. I told y'all, you need a gun, you need Google, and you need God. We buying goods, Sonia Rosa, because I feel like that there's going to be an unrest. And some folk going to get crazy. And just in case crazy is near your dwelling, you need to be able to shoot. I remember when I first seen The Purge, because The Purge came out, and I wouldn't watch it, but um, uh, Michael and them like them scary movies and stuff. I don't put everything in my spirit. I just don't. But some of what I put in my spirit, you might not put in yours, because I like comedy comedy movies they tickle me to death and action like fighting yes that's what i'm saying you know I, some stuff i don't put in my spirit but i will put a fighting movie and they killing and I, I will watch that i do but the purge when it first came on it it creeped me it was an energy on i, I think i left I, that's what happened i left the movie theater i said uh-uh i said y'all won't feel that <laughs> so they something on this movie I said, no, I ain't watching this movie. Nope, I am not watching this movie. So I never seen um, the first Purge. I never seen it. Because I was like, you know, there's something here on, on this here movie. And it, it creeped me out. I don't like it. So get you some bullets. Go and get you some bullets. Let me say it one more time. Go get you some bullets. I think that's all that was on my mind. They done messed me up. Colleagues and them coming over here and talking and stuff. It took me out of the spirit. Uh, is that all that was in my mind? I think it is. What does defund the police have to do with it? We know what defund the police has to really do with reallocation of finances. It's not really like taking away money to where we won't end up having no police or some kind of policing agency you know although some areas are literally breaking ties with the police and they're bringing in a whole nother en entity 
I hate guns, but I'm considering now. Take your hand out there to the gun range and get back familiar with a gun if you got to protect yourself or your children. I saw a video where these white people started surrounding this guy's car while he was why he had his kids in the house. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's what we need to do. Everybody. Because they wait a minute, that's a B. Because um this is why this is to everybody. Of course we know that they they, they some um racist white people that just want to get back at some black folk. But the white people that are not racist and are not trying to support a lot of the ideology that is going around, those white people are going to be targeted by, by their own people too. And they're probably some of us that's upset and going to try to kill some white folks. So I'm telling everybody, you need to go get you some guns. I just think crazy man is going to start popping up. You factor in this pandemic, folk got to stay in the house and people already ain't well. And they, they got to stay in the house. The finance is going down. They're not able to work the way that they want to. They're in all of this debt. And these folks still want their rent. They still want their car notes. They still they they gave us a break from near about April, May. March, April, May. But these folks now they want their money. Whatever you push back insurance, they want a full payment. Larry, check out the viral video from David Dana Come. Somebody sent me that just today. I remember that name, Dana, Pastor Dana. I got you. Let me turn this down. It's some around me. <laughs> what about education reopening the schools in this fall? As a teacher, I'm very concerned. You should be. But all of the teachers are not coming back to school from what I understand. It. Some of the teachers, I see I had said this. And early March, um, that I felt like that they weren't going to be coming back to school. All the teachers, some of the teachers, are going to be teaching from the, from the house, and some of the students are going to be at the house. Mm. When my hubby passed, I got a membership at the gun range. You show better. Yes, it's too soon to open up the schools. Y'all know what it is. These folk got their mind crazy. You hear what Lisa just said talking about that the Walmart was filled up. That's called people going to get stuff because they're going to be grilling that and partying and having these big parties on tomorrow. Larry, how can we hear Prophet tonight? Oh, I'm so glad you said that. All right. There are two people that I am really excited about listening to over the next 24 hours to hear their official talk to our community. Nine o'clock tonight, Bishop Bernard Jordan is going to give him give his official prophetic address. Now, he does this every six months with just his prophetic um, his company of prophets. It was part of the reason why he's a master prophet, because we have a school of prophets or a, a bevy of, of prophetic people, the highest ranking as relates to the, the teacher is, is the master. Um, you know, I think that's really borrowed from the Orient and from their, their school of thought. And so he's the master prophet. And so he always speaks to his prophets every six months and give a, the prophetic, you know, address. And this year, they're making it available to everybody so everybody can listen to the prophetic address. That's 9 o'clock tonight, and he's going to stream it on Facebook as well. So, Archbishop Bernard, what I do, I'll share it to the Facebook page so that everybody can watch it. Then, in the morning, <laughs> y'all might not like this man, but he blesses me. So I know how to eat what I need to eat and throw the rest of it out. At 11 a.m. on www.noi.org, I think it is, Farrakhan. So I'm going to be watching that tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. I want to hear what he got to say because he hasn't talked really since the pandemic and all of this stuff has happened. He ain't said nothing publicly. 
So he's going to be talking on tomorrow morning. So, oh, what they saying about Karen being abused? Let me see. Karen got off your page, was so abused. Oh, Karen, you're pretty white woman. Let me look at you. As far as your picture, I can see I can't blow it up. Like a pretty white woman. You got abused on my page. Why? I mean, what was it? What was happening? Oh, yeah, I heard about this saying the KKK is supposed to be attacking black people on, on the 4th. I saw that. I, I couldn't verify it outside of that. Um, Karen, you said you, you got abused on the page. Oh, probably because... um. Probably because of um, your name being Karen. And that is something that the community has made up for white women who called the police and overreact in public and, and things of that nature. So that's the reason why you had got um, abused here on this page. Is that what you're telling me? I'm waiting for you to respond so I see what you hear what you got to say. I wish they would make it to where on these um pages like this you can request to go live. God, it would be great. But we could do it on IG. How many of you guys how many of you guys actually have IG? Because see, on the Larry Reed Live fan page, I can't go live with you. But on the Larry Reed Live IG, I can. So as it relates to the, the future of the church gatherings, it's going to become more digital, more and more. And I believe that this has been in the mind of God for I don't know how many years. And if you've been following this platform, I started talking about it in 2015. Who promotes one to master profit? It's not a matter of promotion. Didn't you just hear, Michelle, was you hear what I just said? You know, y'all be interesting to me because, like, sometimes y'all be watching and your ears don't work. A master. Just think about karate. If you got all these folk in here that's learning karate, if you got them old Asian movies, you're learning karate. So the head honcho, the highest ranking, the best fighter, the one to teach everybody is the master. Same thing with a with a company or a school or a gathering or or gag a, a group of prophets. Same thing. It's the master. That's why it's called the master prophet. Oh, man. Where? Karen ain't saying nothing back to me. Okay, now Karen says, so sad. I, oh, she says something. I don't know what she said, but she says she was attacked here on the page. So... Karen, that's not me. I, I I don't attack people. I mean, I may talk straight and they may feel like I'm attacking. But I don't uh, I don't attack people. And probably because you white and your name is Karen. Yeah. And that probably was not a LRL or that was probably somebody who watches LRL and come in here to just be too darn much. So, oh, Tanya, I like that. Karen is a behavior. If you don't display the Karen behavior, don't be offended. Yes, and Brock, he's also a master because he's mastered the the art and the craft. Let me see. Did Larry answer my question? I didn't see it, Rochelle. Tell, tell me your, your question and I'll answer right now. Lisa McGee, you have IG? Oh, so you think um, Karen is a troll? Oh, she might be. It takes... Oh, I like this one. This is very practical. Uh, Marcus Green. It takes 10,000 hours to master a thing. And he has put in well over 10,000. My God, he put in 10,000 hours. E easily. All, um, o over and over again. But Karen, if, if you're a real person and you were abused here, I can't say I'm sorry for something I did not do. But I can say that is not the practice over here. Not by me and, and real LRLers. Larry loves white women, Karen. You good, sis. <laughs> uh, and, and please don't um, take this negatively, Karen. I used to love white women. Um, not saying that 
I used to like really love white women, but now they just they went their women just like everybody else. I went through a change. Um No, we're not watching Hamilton tonight, but come on at nine o'clock when Jordan doing the prophetic address. I have to, but I don't think it was LRL member. You just have to ignore them. That's right, Pam Hogg. Wait a minute. Your last name Hogg? If it is, we got two eights. B Bell. He Hague. It's probably Helg. Helg. Because it's like Bell, two A's in it. Or it could be all. Is your last name Hogg? If you did, I'm, I know they got you good in school. Um, I'm considered a master teacher by education community. There you go. Um, Mongolia has quarantined a region next to China border after outbreak of bubonic plague. Two suspected cases of the plague, which is linked to the consumption of more my meat. Okay. Okay. Watch my cash app, my personal cash app. My personal is not tax deductible. It's between me, you, and and God. But for the platform, it's, it's dollar sign M B N N E T W O R K M B N Network. But me personal is dollar sign Larry Reed, R E I D. All right. So it's really a choice. No need to explain your likes and dislikes. Well, you are right, but I know 70% or almost 80% of LRL platform is black women. So I think I owe black women an explanation if me as a black man say that I used to really like white women and then I explain, you know, I went through a change. That was a phase in my life. I think I owe it to my community to explain that. But I mean, you, you're right. What did the prophet say about the election? It said in that book it said something about changes in the voting, the way voting is gonna happen. This this thing is trying its best to get in here. This may mess up the connection. Um Larry, when are you and Lisa getting remarried? That's not in my plan. That's not in her plan. We've had that conversation. We are under the same rule. She moved in with me so that we can give our kids what they deserve because our selfishness snatched something from them that they deserve to have. And that's just putting it real plain. Okay, um, I have the soundtrack of Hamilton. Larry asked Bishop Jordan, what does the Lord say about us returning to school this year? Okay, you should ask. Well, if you're in Patreon, you can ask him them kind of questions. He'll be over there next week. Larry, at the end of the year, will you consider a where are they now? You know, I actually thought about doing that in Patreon. All past guests to talk to them and catch them. Just, that's going to be a whole patron series. See, now that connection done got low again because I rolled up the windows. I ain't going to be able to do no lives in, in this car. And I normally don't. This is my first time doing a live in this car. Um, Mr. Reed, I just joined Patreon. Love your platform. Thank you so much, Noreen Patricia. Thank you so much, Noreen Patricia. See, now the connection is back right. I ain't going to be able to do a lives in this car, though. Larry, is there anything we can do to prevent what's to come? Information that was taught by Mr. Jordan. No. That what he he didn't he didn't say this and and I don't see this. These are things that are going to happen absolutely. The purpose of telling you so that you can prepare for the future. It won't come upon you unaware. Uh let me see. Yes, grown man talk. Yeah, because we, we snatched that away from our children. Thank you, Michelle Thacker. I ain't seen you in a long time. You say you love that answer? That's even more the reason why I think y'all will remarry. Jamal and Giselle back together. Y'all can do it too. <laughs> yeah, we could do it. I mean, we we are, me and Lisa. Oh, is she in there? 
Um, I don't, I don't know if I have no words for it. Um, me and Lisa. I don't know if I have any words for it. It is. And I only can talk with what I know. I, I can't be responsible for what I do not know. But what I think I do know is that our lives are intertwined. Probably in a way that. I probably don't know. And maybe she don't either. Just how it is. Even when we were divorced, not this last time, because she was married to a whole devil, and that spirit and that girl knew. She kept telling Lisa, according to what Lisa told me, that um, I can't break you away from him. I can't break you with. And we had that was the only time in our life, those 18 months, that we were not talking every day or at least every week. Cause there was something else that was in that. That it's like she knew it, and we were like, we ain't doing nothing. We're just talking. We we just. But you know, but prior to that, we don't, we don't know. We just, I just I don't know what to call it. It's not say she a friend. That's not a big enough word. But to call her my wife, we're divorced. That's not my wife no more. I feel I feel more funny when somebody call her my friend than somebody call me call her my wife. It's called wife. I'm like I get that because we were married, you know. Um, but I don't know. What to, I don't know what to call it. I don't know. I don't have any words for it. it just, it just I don't know if she in here now. She probably in there eating. She, if she got a plate. She ain't listening. She. Eating. Um, I don't have no words for it. It's just that. She care about me. I care about her. I respect her. She respects me. I want nothing but good to happen to her. She wants nothing but good to happen to me. I mean, y'all just saw her. I'm pretty sure y'all asking, pension. Y'all remember that truck? You remember how it was look, looking how I had it all made like a thug car? What is it? What is it? I'm freezing. Oh, okay. I'm freezing again. Let me get out this car and walk and see. Do I need to turn the Wi-Fi on? Should I turn the Wi-Fi on? Hold on. Let me pull in here. Okay, I'm pulling in. Let's see if I can make this better. Shit it. I know how far I'm from the am from the wall. <laughs> so I say I'm not sure why you fighting it, but there ain't no fighting it. See, that's what I'm talking about. That, see, this is why folk are not honest and they don't tell the truth because folk come making up stuff. I you ain't hear me say one time I'm fighting nothing or she fighting anything. Oh ha ha! Hallelujah! Oh, that's good. I would like to chat to you on my show. Okay. Y'all didn't even see me do that. Okay. I don't know if I'm back or not. Oh my God. Okay. I don't know if I'm back or not. I don't know what's the last thing y'all heard me say. But um I just inboxed somebody. I'm gonna have I'm gonna interview them on the show if they agree agree to it. You're gonna enjoy it. Um But like I was saying, somebody asked me about that Lisa thing. Y'all done got me in my head thinking about stuff. 
I don't know how to explain it. It just is what it is. Yeah. All right. Y'all have a Jaden Will syndrome. <laughs> you said for me to get out the car. I don't like the way you said that. But I am. I'm about to get out. I'm about to be a real nigga. I'm gonna walk way upstairs. Okay. All right. But yeah, like I was saying, we we respect each other. Don't want nothing bad to happen to each other. Want to be there. For, and um, like when she came here, she wanted you no know, call the fooling over that girl. She wanted to. Um, Foul bank rubs and start all over and all that kind of stuff. I said, yeah, do that. and Just turn your car and everything in. I said, you can just drive mine. So that truck that I normally go live from, I took all the, took them 22s off of and all that black stuff. I had it thugged out and put the regular um, tires back on it, you know, and gave it to her. I said, you just drive it for next year or two. It'll be all right. I mean, cause I got this uh, van that we all get in when there's a whole, a whole lot of us. And so, of course I wasn't gonna drive that, so I just been driving my around the town car. So, I don't know. That itch, the seasoning on that stuff smell good. It's good. Are you watching? No. I'm talking about you, I done told some of your business. I, there's too much to say. I'm going to my room. Talk to you later. What the why is you coming up here for? And you know that. A bit. I was talking about somebody was trying to um they were asking me. Oh my room is dirty. Make sure I don't try. Cause I had to go. What's this? So don't get on me about my room. Lennox Mo? Yeah. Bishop said don't go. What? COVID-19 was there. Now he said that two and a half, almost three months ago. Then kind of find out that the locals been saying that people been going to Lennox and catching COVID. <gasps> yes. I hope she don't eat. I hope she don't either. But what's this with black stamps? That was um I just read them off with people sending stuff in the mail. What? Were you saying? Why are they laughing at you? I tell. I was uh. Acting like laughing at what? There was somebody asked me. How did they say? Oh, you and you and Lisa fighting it. Y'all about the when y'all gonna get remarried? I said. Fighting what? Talking about we um in love with each other something like that. I'm sorry. That's what they say. Oh, this is the old oldest baby. And I just I can't get up that day. We'll always love you. you. Yeah. This dog Wait, is nervous. Wait. That's how it go. That's right. Wait. That's scary. Ah. <laughs> what is that? That that means. Come on, Dad. What you mean? That's that is creepy. Let me tell you what I mean. That's from Ghana. That that means. That's that's Nancy. No. Oh, the, one the, the one at the one at the top. <laughs> she talking because I got these African masks in my room and I named them. But no, that's not him. That at the one that is a it's a mask that they wear when the, it's a very bright sunny day that the warriors will wear. So that is for the sun to reflect, <laughs> and it really means and, and and people get those masks and they put them in their rooms <laughs> because it's supposed to brighten okay, up. Okay, okay, okay. That one is a warrior okay, mask. Yeah, right, right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's what See that is shirt? about. Thou shalt not try me. Mood 24. <laughs> <laughs> that's neat. He was having a fit because he heard y'all singing. Oh, did he? He was, he was, what were you doing? 
Chip. Whining. You can sit right hey, here. Hey, Chip. Okay, nice. Nice. Oh, play. gosh. <laughs> he want to play with Bailey. Hey, Chip. Yeah, but, yeah, um. Hey, Chip. No, nobody's fighting anything. Oh. No, I, I told him, I said, I didn't have no words for it. I said, but I know we respect each other. We care about each other. We love each other. And that we don't want nothing the bad to happen to each other. And we help each other to get to where we got to get. I said, it's, and I uh, I said, it's always been like that, even when we, when we weren't together. I said, so, I said, that's all I know to say. Sorry. So. I'm trying to fight. You gonna do Larry, you with crazy us? to let her get away. Please answer that. Jesus Christ. She's still here. Well, I got off the yellow brick road. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and, um, Did I push you off? Okay, come on. No, I... You know how when the scarecrow said you go this way or you go that way? Or you go that way? <laughs> took a wrong turn. <laughs> Took a wrong turn, oh. but here I am. Um, what was I about to say? You gonna do s'mores with us tomorrow? Listen, you want you should, s'mores. and you could go live. And I wanted to see if you know how to. You know how to light a fire? Ida B. Fleming is my grandma. But it's been a while. Of course, I know how to <laughs> light a, 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 fly, a fire. I said, let's see the mask. I'm gonna show you. They are horrible. Hold on, oh, listen, like, talk to them about three minutes so I make up my bed because like, I'm... I'm uh, you don't have to... You just go over there with a mask. But when you, don't, don't you about to make a mistake. Oh, 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 sorry. Let me make up my bed right quick and I'll show y'all the mask. Don't Can you believe me. she went out like this today? I'm so not surprised. She like comfort now more than anything. But she didn't um get out. I didn't let her get out. Oh. Okay, Do anything for clap. Do anything for clap. <laughs> Do any what for clout? Anything. No, I don't. <laughs> Zaria. What you gonna There's talk no about? There's no place like home. What you gonna talk about, Zara? Hi. Oh God. Today we me. went to go get. Today we went to go get. Um. What do we? Thank went to you go for get? those that said I'm so pretty. I appreciate that. She already knows that, guys. You have to tell her. <laughs> what they doing? <laughs> playing them um corn. What's in the box? It's vitamins. Oh. All right, people need to hear this. Oh, I'm coming. Follow the yellow brick bro. Do you know that? Listen, talk to me. So like I was saying, I got a little sidetrack, okay? And um you already know my testimony, so I don't have to talk about all of that. But um, I just woke up one day. Actually, it was at the. It was during during or after my mama's funeral. You said it was during. During the viewing of my mama's body is when I woke up, and it's like my mama was speaking to me from her casket, saying, "This is enough." And so that whole weekend, I was uncomfortable. And I knew it was a matter of time after that I would be not back here, but I would be by myself. Okay? <laughs> Somebody said. Somebody said. <laughs> They all Lisa is Larry Ken to Fleming Sisters. Yes, that's his aunts. That's his aunts. Aunt Cappy, she was like the Twinkie. Um, I would say Miss Ethelene, she's my absolute fave. She was um like Denise. And Aunt Dot, I called them my aunts too, because I grew up with them. Aunt Dot is like Jackie. Cause she's outspoken. She runs everything. She runs everything. <laughs> uh, no, if you up here, I love you. Um, <laughs> and um, who would Ida may be? I may. Yeah. I may would be. Um, she would be Karen. Clark. I mean, she would be. She would be Karen. You she's think the baby. so? She's the baby. And then Vanessa would be Karen. No, they she 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 mom, they want to know where you got your um shirt from. She's not a sister. 
I don't remember. Uh, Gerald will be like the render. Because I was sur- no, I was surfing something and I saw it. All right, finish. Okay. And um, Gerald be like the render because she's career driven and always has been. And the render is the, was like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So your your arms will be doing. Okay. They right here by my. Can y'all see us? I might need to turn this light on. You bring one right home. Car was rushing. Jesus, man. God, production light. Lights, camera, action. Okay, that's better. Y'all can see us better. Jackson. All right. So, I'm gonna show you this mask. Bed, now you walk into okay, no, this mask. No, this is no. the one they're talking about. Creepy, creepy, creepy. It's not creepy. That look like it's dying. It, it does. Like it does look like Mr. Hill. <laughs> no, it look like Kendall. <laughs> I ain't got their tongues out their mouth. That's, it's the mask, so they can breathe out of. It's from Ghana. Oh, are you actually supposed to wear it? Yes, they wore them. Oh lord. So what's the backdrop behind that one? Um, the, th- this one is one they wear when the sun was bright. This is a warrior's mask. It's a, a, a typical, God, I can't think of the name of that try. So those are warrior women masks? Those right here? Yeah. Yeah, those masks that the women will wear. Yeah. Yeah. Did they say I like mm-hmm. that? I... Lisa can't stand them. <laughs> I I love them. <laughs> I love I love them. Like we conjuring up. Huh? We ain't conjuring up nothing. But you know, we I feel like to, <laughs> I feel like I need to get out of that because we are summoning stuff. We don't. I sleep in here every single night, easily with and, and do my morning prayer intercession right here on the floor. Zara, when, it's a clock call. It's not satanic. That's what I was about to say. We need to get out of that because we think it's satanic, but it's really, that's your Eurocentric yes, Christianity. We need to get it. That told you that your roots were dark magic and, and demonic. <clears throat> it's, it's not. That's why it's creepy to you. You've been programmed. Isn't it amazing? What's amazing? Black is bad. Africa is bad. Africa's poor. Africa is demonic. You remember when that woman, Africa is Brian Kahn friend, um, Apostle, the woman, that's a senator or something like that, too. She made some comments similar to that. What? But anyway, uh, they do make you want to plead the blood of Jesus, man. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> you just you know. It's no acquired taste. No, it's just, you just studied the history of it, and you, you your eyes will come open. But when you fly there? Yeah, I will. I will. Well, let's go. Where we going? I ain't going nowhere. COVID. Ain't no. They got it over there. Well, Listen, have... it's everywhere. Huh? Well, it's have... everywhere. Y'all have fun. Don't take me with you. You need to go. So you, you do. You need to go over there and sweep some dirt floors and eat some rice. When I was standing <laughs> for a week and I came back, as soon as I hit the ground, I said, "Oh, beautiful, <laughs> oh, it's bad. Oh, that was an Alpha Omega run. I said, Grain! Four purple mountains. Uh, you don't even know it. I like Majesty. those masks. I have some. See that? Thank you, Esther Carter. Uh-huh. Somebody said, The mask is powerful. Thank you. She said, oh, she said, I have to look into it. Thanks for saying that, Larry. See, this, I love this platform. It's our culture. So, yeah, what you do, I don't know. I got them wrote in my notes, but I can't go into in my notes in my phone what tribe it is. And all thing I do is find out the meaning of the mask, where it came from, why they created them. And you're like, oh. You know what I like over there, though? I what? love their tribal dances. See, that, that's, that's called, that's, that's you. I like. I like that. That's, that's, it's you. I would like to learn that. That's who you are. Because at first I was confused. I was like, are. 
this praise dance team, boy, they got it together. <laughs> <laughs> they that was like uh, those are travel dances. Everybody knew it. Everybody was just yes. in. Apostle Kim Daniel, because she was the one that said to my, "Thank God that they brought me over here on the slave ship because I've been left in Africa worshiping a tree." <laughs> I said, "If you can, you can't be much more uneducated as that." That's crazy. And she is a, a, a whole of political office in Florida. That's yeah. crazy. They said, are we um, celebrating the 4th of July? Are we celebrating the 4th of July? No, but we are making s'mores. And we're going, because we in a white community, so we don't want to make them feel like. Um, I don't care what they feel like. What y'all, I don't care what they feel like. We're doing, we're not celebrating. Because you, let me tell you this. I usually made it a big deal. Because I was in the military, I made it a big deal about mm -hmm. 4th of July. I'm just going to be honest. Me and the girls, we went every year. To go see if your dog takes what, what, my shoes. What is he doing? He playing with my shoes. Chip. Stop. Chip. Chip. Chip what are you? Hand them to me. Okay. Bad. No, I have a puppy. We don't have no, a puppy. Lisa got a, a dog. Puppy. I have a dog. That's not nice. Lisa got a dog. Your puppy. Let me finish my thoughts. So I would. I would His celebrate. name is Dog. Boy, you like Bailey. Stop. I like feeding them. And we would um, <laughs> celebrate. Stop. Chip. Life, but I'm not Happy doing it this year. Is. I'm not doing it this year. Uh, you ain't moving. Go you acting out on her. She's not that bright. No, she's not. She's not. I mean, but I'm pretty sure she's a great ministry gift and has been a blessing to our community. But we have to be able to call our own community out when we get it wrong. And Apostle Kim Dang has got it wrong. She shouldn't have made that statement. In front of a whole oh, bunch so of white folk. Jittery. Um, I got an email. They talking about renaming my high school that I'm going to. Oh yeah. Yep. Grady High School. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. oh, it's having yeah, they're gonna be at Mount Rushmore. Yeah, today. Chip. Chip. Oh Boy. Man. Stay. Stay. Mm -hmm. oh. <gasps> stay. <gasps> I said stay. I'm glad you offline. I'm sorry. He know he had an order. He come out here, his heart breathing. He, oh y'all don't come in here and cut God. up. He know to stay. You see him? Discipline. That's discipline. <laughs> Like, not me, <laughs> wow. Okay, the dog name my is lady. Chip. My dog, my puppy name is Chip. Her dog name is Dog. My dog name is Bailey. And he's beautiful. Ain't it right, Bubba? I think Bailey is um a trans male. Your dog be sucking my dog balls. So oh, what is your that's balls? that's sniffing. No, he he's sucks, a puppy. Man. That's a grown he dog. Sucks, but look no, at him. He, he looks doesn't. he looks like a he looks like that he was made into a male. He is a morky. Leave him alone. So trans male. No. He's not. Um. Uh -uh. What am I gonna say? You see, my dog don't totally calm down. He no order. See, I can do barely the same way. No. Yes, he hit the puppy. <laughs> Bailey would die. If you no, I him. didn't hit him. I tapped. Tap. You? What? That was a tap. That, that was, was a Jesus tap. tap. No, it was it tap. vibrated on his butt. It was a tap. You can't hit big like that. He would have a heart attack. It was mm -hmm. a tap. It was a no. disciplined tap. Yes, it's a tap. That's it. The original Hebrews were black. Therefore, the first Christians were black. Don't live. Stay. Yeah, Chip is stubborn. So you have you have Chip. That's him. Look at him. He's obeying now. <laughs> Chip. And dog. Bailey. Bailey. Leave him Say alone. hi, Bailey. Say hi, Bailey. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about. And then you're able to hear a little bit of Lisa's testimony as well. What? Um, it wasn't a hard tap. He just screamed loud. For any little tap I give him, he hollers. You know, so that's all that is. It was not a hit. 
I do not <laughs> abuse animals. You can report me all you want to. They might give me the money for the thousands of dollars I spent on this dog. The devil is a lie. <laughs> they come up here, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna catch some they may be better be bulletproof. <laughs> I did not hit the dog, I tapped. Y'all better quit saying that. <laughs> Talk about poor Chip. He eat well. Marie, your hands are heavy. <laughs> there is a carrot on here. His feelings are not hurt. He is. Look at him. <laughs> no, I didn't say anything about Kiara um getting um married. I mean, God bless her. These folk ain't got no mask on at this rally. Oh my God. What they at the amphitheater? They at Mount Rushmore. And they don't look like they got on a... Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, my God. This Surgeon is... General refuses to advise Americans to avoid crowds as the U.S. heads into 4th of July. Mm. That's damn. I got to have me I know here. I turn right around. Let so everybody say amen. amen. Let everybody say amen. amen. Let everybody say amen. 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 Are we all invited to the marriage? What marriage? No, I'm not going to North Carolina. Shamako's in North Carolina now. Really? Why are they down Can y'all let me be? Let's let us enjoy being a family raising our daughters, giving them what we snatch from them in our selfishness. Is that can we see Chip again? Wait, what now? We we were selfish. You saying we, you you really owning the we. I, of course I, I thought you was trying to be shady. No, I wasn't trying to help no. Hmm. I could have eased them when you talking about Cause you you when you came to me, you won't you didn't come to me like this is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do this. It was a conversation. And had I been like, Lisa, I really feel like that we need right. to Right, you didn't fight for me. <laughs> you didn't fight for me. <laughs> I got that. You didn't fight for me. <laughs> you just let me run off into the wind. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I had to leave okay. Beyonce I church. You said that. Beyonce led me straight. Since they won't say hi. Say Look, Kim Rice said, Larry, anything I feed will obey. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking they about. I want to see Chip again. <laughs> Chip crying. Yeah. <laughs> no, he ain't crying. He just he doesn't know that he done made a mistake. Look at him. <laughs> he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Talk to the people, Chip. Chip, talk to him. You ain't going to say nothing. Say hello. Chip, say hello. My name is Chip Reed. Okay, let's talk. Hello, everybody. My name is Chip Reed. I'm a very good dog, but sometimes I get out my mind when I see other pets. And I don't listen to Larry laugh. You want to? You said I can have them. Wait. Okay, they, 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 this yellow and a white diamond. But I, I didn't know if you would really like them because they're so small. They studs. I and to... and you know studs get you got you in trouble. The last thing you had, you don't you don't know what I'm talking about. I do know what you're trying to say, <laughs> but I need you to take that back. Cause I, I was never a stud. No, not you. I'm saying the stud gets you in trouble. <laughs> but uh, -huh. I don't want them. at least I thought Azari won them, but. I can give it's hard. She I, can have them. No, uh -uh. if you want them. Hold on. She just got here. <laughs> what you mean? I've been here before you. <laughs> no, I'm talking about now. You just it got here. It don't matter. Just no. Me everything. No. No. I, you came no. out of me. I've been here before you. Before what? you, you would even thought no. of. No, 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 no. What? So but what I got saying? other. I got other earrings. I, I have. A what big fan. I have a uh, one carat black diamond. And I got some more stuff. Mm. Are y'all about to go live with LaCrae? Oh, I am watching that. Mm. Oh, she need to go live mm. with Jada. She was live with Wait, Ab Aventure yesterday. The Avenger. Mm. 
Go ahead, Zara. You can have it. I don't know now, Zara. Them, that they're more, they're expensive. You yeah, those are real money. diamonds. You so what real? am I going to have? You I, need some some, I got some expensive. fake ones. Uh-uh! <laughs> Zaria, let's be truthful. Fine. Yes. <laughs> Fine. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I got to upload this to YouTube. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye. I didn't clean.